I travel a lot, like 50,000 miles in the last year, a lot. And when you travel, a lot of times you're stuck in airplanes or airports or tiny hotel rooms where you're trying to work on your laptop and you just don't have a lot of space, but you still need to get work done. And being an obsessive optimizer, along the way I figured out my own little methods or tricks to make those situations better. I'm used to a two monitor editing setup at home and when I go on the road, I'm stuck with just my laptop. The screen is fine, but it's just not the same as having a secondary playback monitor. So I got to thinking, what are ways to add another monitor that don't involve actually packing a real one? Cause it takes up a lot of room and it, it would be dumb to do that. My first attempt was this Sony portable HD projector. It runs around $450, so it's not a cheap solution at all, but it is tiny for also being HD and hypothetically creating a 120 inch monitor. Whoa. In addition to the projector, I used a flexible arm clamp. Several times I set this up in a hotel room with the arm holding the projector out as my second monitor while I edit it or just watch TV on it. It worked okay, but there were a lot of variables to deal with like sunlight and so on and I generally kept it pretty close to the wall to keep the brightness high, which meant I wasn't getting much screen size for the trouble. I decided I needed an actual physical monitor with an HDMI input, so I hopped on Amazon to do some sleuthing. The first thing I bought was an AOC 16 inch monitor that was an HDMI, but USB. It was just far too big for travel and it felt a bit flimsy. So that one got returned, leaving me with this absolute gem. A 2K monitor originally marketed as being for Raspberry Pi personal computers. Now I've never heard of Eel Duino Studios before, but dang, do I love this monitor. In addition, I got this angled mini HDMI cable, these short micro USB cables, and after buying a variety of monitor stands, found the Amazon Basics adjustable tablet stand as the winner for durability as well as grip. Since airplane tray tables can be pretty slippery, you wanna have some like grippy pads on there. Altogether, this creates an awesome 10.1 inch 2K secondary monitor for editing. And now let's talk about using the same monitor for entertainment with the Nintendo Switch and also a PlayStation, but we'll start with the Switch. The Switch has this big dumb toaster thing you need to bring with you typically in order to use HDMI out. But after some research, I found this $42 Seaforce CF001 adapter that minimizes the footprint quite a bit. Now my main use for this setup was on a flight. Airplane plugs give you 85 watts of electricity, which is just barely enough to run the switch as well as have the USB power the monitor. There's something kind of magical about playing video games on a flight on a semi-decent screen. And even though it's a little janky, the setup can fit just fine on a standard tray table and gives you a screen size about double the original switch screen, or maybe more or less. I'm not good at estimating this stuff, guys. My one quibble with the monitor is that when playing switch, the aspect ratio is very slightly off, something that most people might not notice, but drives me friggin' nuts. I couldn't deal with playing NBA 2K with oblong basketballs. I just wish there was an aspect ratio option that I could access on the monitor, but the menus are pretty limited and I couldn't find anything. I can fit it all nicely into this little bag and then throw that bag into my backpack. Voila! <sighs> Got a burp. <sighs> oh, and don't think I didn't at least try to play a PS4 on this thing. I found some time before our 1.30 a.m. flight out of Fairbanks, Alaska. I've always wanted to play a PlayStation Pro. I did redemption in the airport. I always have. When you were a child, they asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Red Dead Redemption 2 in the airport. It's the moment of truth. Oh no. There's not enough power. I think I gotta move this to a real plug. All right, this should work. Yes. Ah yes, a very proud moment for me and a very embarrassing one for my wife. I've got links to all these items mentioned in this episode down in the description. Check them out if you're looking for this solution too. Unfortunately, some of them look like they're out of stock, but there are similar products that could do the same thing. If you like this video, please subscribe for more travel related stuff. I'd also like to thank my patrons who help fund and motivate these monthly videos. This episode's executive producer is Aaron P, who wants to remind the police that they'll never take him alive. 
again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.